Leaving home is one of the hardest things a person can do. It usually means giving up everything that a person knows and feels comfortable with and forces them into a new and unfamiliar environment. Most college students start their first week at college not knowing anyone. Meeting new people is the most crucial point of a college student's social development. Students are used to having their families to come home to, to talk to about their day, and to hang out with. A student must find people to share the dinner that they would usually share with their families, form new traditions, and deal with each other's living habits. College students form a group at college that they consider their family while not at home. The most common place that students find their new family is in their own hall. A student is encouraged to keep their dorm doors open so that they can meet their fellow hallmates. Over the next couple of weeks, students bump into these people in the bathrooms, kitchens, hallways, and laundry rooms. They start to learn about each other. They will see people out in the hall and stop and ask them to dinner. They will start to acclimate to everyone's schedule. Everyone on the hall will have to learn the art of compromise. Everyone will discover how to handle working with a mix of personalities and opinions. Hallmates help a new student adjust to college in a way that no one else can. Personally, I believe hallmates are essential to a student's healthy integration into the school. If not for these group of people, I would not feel near as comfortable in Athens as I do now. Three North is the best thing that has happened to me since I arrived in Athens. I have come to depend on these people for things such as having someone to nap with after classes, hanging out on a Friday night, having someone to talk to or vent to about crazy college experiences. I have learned some very valuable lessons from the girls of Three North. You must create strong bonds with your hallmates. They will be the people who help a person hide a snake that they snuck into the dorm from the RA, help a person cover their tracks, or teach you to wobble at four o'clock in the morning. I have learned I can trust these people to be there whenever I need them, and I would do anything for them. These people have become my family in Athens. What does a hallmate mean to a you? A hallmate is someone who lets you talk without telling you to shut up. <laughs> Good job. A hallmate is someone who makes up gang signs for your hall. Someone that I share my life with every day. Wrestling. What does a hallmate mean to you? It means a friendship forever. It means everybody loves each other. It means <laughs> accepting others despite your differences. A hallmate is someone who, um, who is going to completely understand the look on your face when you shut your door and you realize your key's still in there and your roommate's nowhere to be found. They're going to understand those things. And you can complain about them with each other. Hallmates are the people who will see you at your worst and at your best. Hallmates see the things that usually stay behind closed doors. Hallmates are your secret keepers and your trustworthy confidants. Hallmates hear the fights you get into with your roommate or over the phone. Hallmates hear you crying in the bathroom after a bad breakup, and they are there for you when you think that college has got you beat. They are the people you turn to to pick you up without your family physically there with you. They are the family you get to choose and the family you carry with you throughout your college experience. My hallmates are my family, and I know I depend on Three North. Force us into a goodbye. If you have children someday, when they point to the picture. Oh my god, there's a frog on the hall. I mean, there's a snake there's on the hall. There's a snake on the hall. There's fish on the hall. I thought you sneaked that frog. We're not going to say the snake is going to eat your frog.